So you decided to start coding and you have no idea like what is the right path for you. Honestly, you are feeling a bit lost, maybe a bit overwhelmed by all the available information, all the possible options. And you've done your research and you decided, hey, I want to learn JavaScript. I want to become a front-end developer, a full-stack developer, a web developer, however you want to call it. Now you're like, okay, what are the next steps? And in this video, I want to tell you exactly what I would do if I would be you and if I would start from scratch. So my name is Christian. I run Developer Pro, it's a coaching program. This coaching program is designed to help beginners just like you to learn code so you can get a developer job, so you can work remotely and make more money. So let's get into it. The first thing that you need to do is to embrace the learner mindset, okay? This is super important and I want to relate it to my fitness journey. So for 16 years, I've tried to get in shape in multiple ways. I've tried diet, I've tried programs, I've tried different coaches. And what I didn't try is to fix my mindset because I thought that if I watch all the YouTube videos, if I know all the recipes, if I know all these things, I'm gonna be able to become successful. But what I didn't realize is that I didn't have the right mindset to actually achieve this goal. So if you're a beginner programmer and it's been a while since you've learned something new, maybe you're in a job that you don't like and you've been doing that job for the past 5, 10, 15, 20 years, you need to approach this with a beginner's mindset, with a learner's mindset. So you need to give yourself probably the first three months or so just to reset your brain and learn how to learn. The first three to four months, I barely made any progress because I was literally fighting with myself to stay on track to achieve this goal because every single day, quit, this is not for you, your body doesn't work in this way, it doesn't matter how many calories you burn or how many calories you eat. And that was because I had ego, I was very proud, I thought I know everything, okay? And the first three months were just for myself to learn how to control myself and if that's you with coding and you have these high hopes that in the next two three days you'll be able to build projects that you'll be able to learn algorithms if you have these expectations you'll just crash and burn like if we are being completely honest and i've seen it many times a lot of people especially beginners those who have no idea about coding yet they wanna you know sprint before they are even able to walk or crawl right so first you need to learn how to organize yourself, how to organize your life around this new activity that you want to learn. Number two, understand that you will have difficulties along the way, okay? So if you know about this concept of hero's journey, and if you ever looked at the movie like Pursuit of Happiness, I think with Will Smith and his son, I think it's like a very old movie. I think it's like 20 years old. It's like top 10 best movies in the world. You like that movie because the hero, Will Smith, was struggling massively. But then in the end, he reached his goal and he became, I think, a multimillionaire or something like that. And now you need to understand that you are going through the same hero journey. The hero never has an easy life. The villain is always like the best, the most in shape, smartest, richest, whatever. But the hero has a bunch of missions that he needs to accomplish, right? And in your case, you need to overcome your mental hurdles. In the future, you'll have to fight to recruit. Understand the rejections, understand that they are not personal, understand that rejections are not really rejecting you. Like people not are rejecting you, they are rejecting your skill set. So then you have control over your skill set. And from day to day, you'll have moments when you wanna quit, you'll doubt yourself. Every day, I doubt myself, I doubt this diet. I'm like, is it even worth going to bed with hunger? because I'm sleeping with hunger. It's like I sleep with me, myself, with my girlfriend and with the hunger every night. And I'm like, is this even worth it? Should I just get the burger? But understand that these problems, these issues that you're facing every day, they are normal and they are meant to test you. Like how bad do you actually want this thing? Because you will have these moments. If not in the first week, you'll have them in the third week. You'll have them in the third month, fourth month fifth month, you'll always have hurdles, you'll always have problems, you'll always have pushbacks from life. Nothing grows without pain. The chicken, when it wants to come out of the egg, it needs to break, you know, that shell. It's tough, it's life. 
If you want to live a comfortable life, coding is not for you. Keep doing your job. But you need to understand that we are living in a world of instant gratification. You turn on Netflix, boom, you get dopamine, you see your favorite TV series, you eat a pizza, you feel good for like five minutes. But all these things that are giving you instant gratification, they make you unhappy long term. So coding is one of those disciplines, just like getting in shape, where you have to put a lot of effort in before you see any results. A lot of work in the beginning with no results, but in the future, you'll put very little work in and you'll get a bunch of results back. So adopt a growth mindset and adopt a long term mindset. And that's going to help you massively with staying on track as a beginner developer. And third thing that I want to mention here is to be consistent. So what do I mean by consistency? Consistency is one of those things that gets thrown around very often. And most people understand the first level of consistency, which is showing up every day. And that is requisite. OK, you need to understand that that's very important and probably you understand it logically. But the second level of understanding is getting consistently better. OK, every day you should get better than the previous day. And again, Nobody talks about this from the consistency point of view, but this is something that you should strive for. If you are not pushing yourself every day, you will stagnate and at some point you're going to get bored. I mean, there's no progress, there is no future for you. And then with time, you'll start to decay, you will lose interest, you'll give up and then you'll end up staying in your current job. In order for you to not end up in this place, you always need to look for the next goal. And the next goal doesn't need to be extremely difficult compared with where you are right now. It just needs to be like slightly more difficult. Imagine being in the flow state. Flow state means working on something that is not at your comfort level because otherwise it's boring, but it's slightly challenging, slightly above your current knowledge base, if that makes sense. And because you are trying to do something a bit more challenging than you're actually able to do, your mind will stay engaged, you will like it, and then when you'll achieve said thing that you are looking to achieve, then your brain is going to release dopamine, you'll feel good and you'll stay there in flow. And then with time, you'll be able to stay longer and longer and longer. And then you'll eventually become addicted to coding. The reason why some people are better at coding than others is because some people are addicted to coding while others are not. And in order for you to become addicted to something, you need to understand the concept of absolute wins and relative wins. Relative wins are wins that you can achieve every day. So for example, if you just started coding, you are starting to code today, okay? One relative win is today I've coded 10 minutes or today I have opened CodePen. It's as simple as that. You got a win, you feel happy, and because of that, you might stay and actually do something more than just coding for 30 minutes. Maybe you end up coding one hour. But then compared with yesterday where you didn't code anything, that's a relative win. You won. Next day, you're gonna do the same thing. But tomorrow, you'll feel like not coding, right? You'll feel like, ah, oh, shit, I don't wanna code today. It's not a great day, I feel tired. But you still open CodePen and you still stay focused 30 minutes. Compared with what you wanted to do and you, what you actually did, that's a relative win. Now, most people fail because they only look at the absolute win. And the absolute win is getting a developer job. If you just look at that, developer job, developer job, developer job, developer job, and you don't get it every single day, you're not winning. And because you're not winning, you're not getting the dopamine hits. Because you're not getting the dopamine hits, you're not getting addicted. And because you're not getting addicted, you're not gonna put more, you're not gonna create this feedback loop, which is gonna spiral you up. You're gonna get this feedback loop, which is gonna spiral you down. Because if you look at the absolute win, which is getting the developer job, you are not there yet. It's gonna take you months till you get there. And then you're like, oh, I'm a failure, I shouldn't be doing this, okay? Because you look at the mountain, right? Instead of looking 10 meters ahead of you and seeing like, oh, let me just do another 10 steps. Oh, cool, I'm there. Understand that there are relative wins, absolute wins. Try to get yourself hooked on the relative wins because if you just get hooked on the relative wins, you'll just get better and better every day. And then as a consequence of you getting better and better every day, you'll be able to climb the mountain. And then when you climb the mountain, you're like, okay, I've done it, what's next? You're gonna get a job. Then you're gonna be a junior developer because you're already hooked on dopamine and you keep improving, keep getting coaching or whatever, you're just gonna get better and then you'll end up becoming a senior developer or at least getting paid as a senior developer, just like I did in just two years instead of five years like most people take. So that was my story, that's how I've done it. And these are some of the most important tips I can give you as a complete beginner. And if you wanna 
learn code the right way, I highly recommend you to check out my coaching program. The first link in the description. If you wanna try a free coding program that I have, check out the second link in the description that's gonna get you started and you'll have a better idea about how coding works and whatnot. So that's all for today, see ya.